Dear student, today we are going to discuss on various diseases caused by fungi in apple. The apple is the pomaceous fruit of the apple tree, Meles domestica, of the rose family. It is one of the most widely cultivated tree fruits and the most widely known of the many members of genus Melus that are used by humans. India ranks fifth among apple producing countries in terms of volume. Early and continuous rain do not favor the production of quality fruits besides resulting in high incidence of diseases. Diseases of apple can cause significant losses in yield and quality. Now let's discuss about the disease apple scab. The fungal pathogen Venturia inequalis is the agent of the scab disease of apple, the most important disease in apple production. The apple scab is found almost everywhere where apple grows. It seems to be destructive in the areas having cool and humid climate. This disease is first reported from Sweden in 1819. The sign and symptoms of apple scab are Apple scab lessons occur on leaves, petioles, blossoms, sepals, fruit, pedicels, and less frequently on young shoots and bud scales. Young lessons are velvety brown to olive green and have feathery in distinct margins. The lessons may remain on the upper and lower leaf surfaces for the entire growing season. Occasionally, the underlying cells turn brown and die so that brown lessons are visible on both surfaces. Infections of petioles and pedicels result in premature abscission of leaves and fruit. Lessons on young fruit appear similar to those on leaves, but as the infected fruit enlarge, the lessons become brown and corky. The mycelium of this pathogen is septate, branch, and hyaline at initial stage of growth and becomes olive to reddish brown in later stage. The conidia are non septed or maybe single septed and hyaline at first and turn reddish brown in color at later stage. Peritesia are dark olive green to brown, globose to subglobose, partially embedded in host tissue slightly papillate at the obstule surrounded by several setae and form on dead leaves. The echospores are olivaceous brown and eight in numbers. The disease can be managed by the following ways. By using resistant cultivars like Aiken, Freedom, Gold Rush, Jonah Free, Liberty, Prima and red free. By selecting sites that provide more than six hours of sunlight per day, spacing trees adequately and following proper pruning practices to open the tree canopy to light, air and spray penetration. By sanitizing, removal and destruction of dead plants and debris by application of fungicide like Zinep, Furbam, Manep, Kaptan and Deconelis is recommended. By seed treatment with copper sulfate, thiram, binomial or calexin M. Now let's discuss about Black Road. Black Road can cause serious losses in apple orchards, especially in warm, humid areas. 
three forms of the disease can occur. A leaf spot known as foci leaf spot, a fruit rot, and a limb canker. This disease is caused by Botryferis obtuse. It covers wide geographical range and attacks the fruits, leaves, and bark of apple trees and other pomaceous plants. The sign and symptoms of this disease is leaf symptoms first occur early in the spring when the leaves are unfolding. They appear as small purple speck on the upper surface of the leaves that enlarge into circular lessons around 1 by 8 to 1 by 4 inch that is around 3 to 6 millimeter in diameter. The margin of the lessons remain purple while the center turns thin brown. The lessons assume a characteristic frog eye appearance. Fruit infection of which sepal infection is the most common form can occur early in the season. Early fruit infection usually appears at the calyx end of the fruit. Lessons resulting in canker formation usually are associated with a wound in the bark. In the early stages, the bark is slightly sunken and reddish brown in color. Some cankers are observed to be merely a superficial roughening of the bark. In other cases, the canker can kill the bark to the wood and the area becomes cracked. This disease can be managed by the following ways. By carefully pruning and disposing of dead wood, by pruning and removing of cankers, by removing all mummified fruits, by controlling fire blight, by pruning out infected wood or controlling insect vectors, by pruning during the dormant season in the winter, before sap flows begin, and when temperatures are too cold for the pathogen to be active. This minimizes the chance of disease being spread on pruning tools. By application of fungicides like captan, sulfur products from silver tips through harvest. Now let's discuss about bitter root. Bitter root of apple fruit is a common and widespread disease. This disease is caused by Colletotrichum bluosporides, which in perfect state is called Glomerula cingulata. This distribution was first reported in Europe in 1829. Now the disease occurs on apple throughout the world. It is the major disease, however, restricted to relatively warm and humid areas. This fungus affects a wide range of hosts, particularly as a pathogen of decayed ripened fruits. The signs and symptoms found on this disease are Fruit infection can occur early in the season, but symptoms do not develop until the fruit begins to mature. The road begins as small, light brown, circular lesson. Under humid conditions, large number of spores are produced in a creamy mass, salmon pink in color, which are often arranged in concentric circles. Under dry conditions, the spore mass appears crystalline. The rotted flesh beneath the surface of the lesson is watery, appearing in a V-shaped pattern in cross-section that narrows towards the core. The mycelium is hyaline, branched, and it produces dark wall calamidospores and dark stromata on which 
Acervillae are formed beneath the epidermis, rupturing the latter. Conidia are pinkish when in masses, variable in shape, mostly oblong or cylindrical, somewhat curved. This disease can be managed by the following ways. Good orchard sanitation is critical for effective control of bitter root. Any practice that helps to maintain trees in a healthy, vigorous condition is important for controlling the canker phase of the disease. The use of fungicide combined with good sanitation is beneficial for controlling the fruit growth phase of the disease. Application of fungicides, captan and the strobilurins fungicides are the most effective whereas the benzimidazoles and SI fungicide cannot be applied when fruit are at greatest risks of infection. Let's discuss about sooty blotch and fly speck. Sooty blotch and fly specks are fungal blemish diseases of fruit. The diseases are sometimes found together on the same fruit or as they are favored by very similar weather conditions, but they can be distinguished from each other by their symptoms. The causal organisms for sooty blotch is Phylacora pomigena and for fly speck it is Schizotyrium pomi. The disease is distributed widely in warm, moist area of the world. The sign and symptoms Patches of dark green to black, sooty fungal growth develop on the surface of the fruit. The patches may march together to cover a large percentage of the surface area. Fruits are affected on the tree, but the patches may continue to develop during storage. And in fly speck, it can be found on its own or together with sooty bloat. Clusters of tiny black dots develop on the surface of the fruit. The clusters may march to affect a large percentage of the surface area. The growth can be rubbed away and unlike sooty blotch, does not usually leave any surface discoloration behind. The disease can be managed in two ways, non-chemical method and chemical method. And in non-chemical method, regular pruning to produce an open structure with good air circulation will discourage growth of the sooty blotch and fly speck fungi and also some other fungal diseases such as apple and pear scab. Thinning the fruit. Storing fruit in appropriate conditions that is cool and well ventilated. And in chemical control, a tank mix of a benzimidazole fungicide that is Theophanate methyl and a contact fungicide such as Captan should be used. Potassium bicarbonate is also a new, moderately effective fungicide. Now let's discuss about powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is caused by the Podosphera leucotrica. Butler and Bisbee recorded this disease in Kashmir in 1931. This has also been recorded in from Himachal Pradesh and Kumaon. The disease has been recorded from United States, Japan, Canada, Australia and Tasmania. The disease causes economic damage by reducing tree vigor, flower bud production, and fruit quality. 
Sign and Symptoms Powdery mildew of apple produces symptoms on young shoots, leaves, blossoms, and fruit. In general, symptoms are most noticeable on the leaves and fruit. In apple shoots, the infected flag shoots have a silver gray appearance and may exhibit defoliation, stunted growth, and dieback. Heavily infected trees become weakened and are more likely to be invaded by secondary pathogen. By midsummer, the mycelium darkens and numerous brown fruiting bodies form. Apple leaves and fruit in contrast to primary infection in which the leaf is colonized as it emerges from the bud, secondary infections occur when wind-borne spores land on the young leaves as they unfurl and expand. Leaves infected along the leaf margin may become curled, crinkled, or folded longitudinally. Fungal colonies composed of mycelium and spores appear as white, felt-like patches. Fruit may also become distorted and or dwarf. Apple blossoms, infected flower buds have a silver gray appearance and open five to eight days later than healthy ones, if at all. Petals are distorted and pale yellow or light green. Blossoms may become shriveled and fail to produce fruit. The disease can be managed by the following ways. Removal of infected buds, modification of the environment, control by spraying fungicide, Monitoring for mildew during winter and the growing season will assist with decisions about mildew control. Now let's discuss about cedar apple rust. Cedar apple rust, which is also known as CAR, is an important fungal disease of apple. The CAR fungus requires two hosts, apple and eastern red cedar, that is Juniperus virginiana, to complete its life cycle. Spores produced on apple do not infect apple, but only cedar, and spores produced on cedar infect only apple. The causal organisms for this disease is Gymnosporangium juniperi virginiani. Sign and Symptoms The most conspicuous symptoms on apple are bright orange, glistening lessons on the leaves. Lessons which are not inhibited chemically may form small tufts of spore producing structure on the lower surface of the leaf. Cedar apple rust appears on fruit first as bright orange, slightly raised lessons but may take on a more brown and cracked appearance as the fruit enlarges. On the cedar tree, cedar apple rust produces brown globular growth ranging in size from 1 by 4 inch that is around 6 to 7 millimeter to nearly 2 inches in diameter. These are dimpled like a golf ball in the dormant season but produce gelatinous orange spore horns during spring rains. The disease can be managed by choosing resistant cultivars, racking up and disposing of fallen leaves and other debris from under trees, removing gold from infected junipers, 
applying fungicide at the pink bud stage of apple. From the above discussion, we come to the conclusion that diseases not only reduce the productive capability of trees, but also affect adversely the fruit quality. Apple is commercially the most important temperate fruit and is fourth among the most widely produced fruits in the world after banana, orange, and grape. Apple disease management requires an integrated approach that depends on the grower's goals. Such an approach combines resistant cultivars, good horticultural practices, sanitation, and fungicide. Growers must decide whether to manage their apples using natural fungicides referred to as organic or synthetic fungicides. Often, proper crop management precludes the need to manage the disease. Management will be much simpler for growers who choose resistant varieties than for growers who choose susceptible varieties.